Good afternoon, everyone. Hello. Hey, Tanya. Hey, Becky. Hey, everybody. How you guys doing? Hello. Hey, Veronica, can y'all hear me? We'll get this party started pretty quick. Hey, welcome, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to Why Shaboleth. We're going to get started in just a moment. Hey, Paula. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Glad that you're with us. Happy Saturday to everyone. Hey, Dawn. How you doing? Good to have y'all. We're going to get started shortly. All right, I think I'm ready to go now. Hey, Kim. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, those of you that are here, if you've got folks that you would like to join this webinar, here is the direct link. I'm going to put it in the chat. Uh, this is the link they would use if they failed to register and are trying to get in. But thank you for registering. It makes my job easier if I need to send out materials after class. So we appreciate that. Hey, Sarah, do we have any new folks here? Do we have anybody she first live webinar with us, with me or Shaboleth? Anyone? We're going to get this party started. Happy Saturday, everybody. If you're new here, you're our special guest. We really appreciate having you today. This is a Why Shaboleth webinar. We're using Webinar Jam, so we're on a bit of a delay. If you're a an existing member, when you come to our educational classes after you become a member, then there's less delay. It's a better platform that we use. It's called Zoom. Uh, we use Webinar Jam uh, basically for our free webinars. Uh, so uh, look forward to having you in the Zoom room. I, I certainly prefer it, uh, but our advisors say that this is the best platform if we're doing a free wine Shibboleth. So this is what we're using. We want to welcome you, Ginger. Hey, Ginger's new, everybody. We're glad to have Miss Ginger with us. We're glad to have all of you. Uh, my name's Travis Martin, and I've lost over 100 pounds on this great program, and I come off many prescription medications. I come off high blood pressure medication. I come off high cholesterol medication, diabetes medications, depression medications, acid reflux medications. In fact, I had an acid reflux problem that was so bad that I had to take a uh, solo cup with me everywhere I went. People thought I chewed tobacco. I've never touched tobacco. And I know this is gross for this time of day. But my food would come up morning all the way into the night time as soon as I, I would consume some food. So I had a significant acid reflux problem. Within weeks of, of doing this program the way it's outlined, uh, I was able to come off acid reflux medications after a, after a decade. After 15 years uh, of being on blood pressure meds, in just a few months I was off of them. I came off the pre-diabetes meds. Look, this program's life-changing. Now, I, I tell you, us being a ministry first and foremost, let me tell you what I'm up against. I'm up against a lot of noise. Many of you that are here 
this afternoon, many of you have tried many things. You may have even tried this at some point in time, but didn't give it your all. You, you're, I'm up against a lot of noise because you are inundated with noise on a daily basis about how to lose weight. And it's sad, but most of that stuff is going to leave you even more frustrated because what you need is not another diet. The first three letters of the word diet spell die. Anything that we start with and we can't stay with forever is just a waste of our time and our money and our effort. Diets don't work. Now, again, some will argue semantics. However we're eating is a type of diet. But what I'm talking about is in the sense people will step out of their existing lifestyle and they will participate in a diet for some short-term results and then they'll put the weight back on. That's not what we're wanting to do anymore, y'all. We need to stop that madness. In fact, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. You are not going to get a different result doing the same old things that you've always done. You're going to have to speak differently. You're going to have to think differently. You're going to have to start differently. There's things that's got to be different. You're going to have to quit dating diets and you're going to have to find a practical, sustainable, and lifestyle that you're willing to marry. You're going to have to put a ring on your finger, right? <laughs> and be reminded every day, this is my lifestyle. The culture we're living in is not conducive to you having weight loss and wellness results. Uh, within probably five square miles of wherever you are, there's probably 50 fast food restaurants. Uh, you're inundated with TV commercials, ads for foods that aren't good for you all day, every day. Our culture is not going to lend itself to helping you become a well person. Two-thirds of our nation fall in one of three categories. Overweight, obese, or morbidly obese. Unfortunately, the leading cause of the number one killer in the U.S., heart disease, the leading cause of that, that is being overweight. Uh, unfortunately, the number two killer in the U.S., cancer, the number one cause of most cancers is being overweight. In fact, what we're dealing with here this day, the virus, for the most part, the number one underlying disease that's causing people to have some uh, real, real problems with the virus is being overweight. Being overweight is a problem. It's not only a problem to your physical health, it is also a significant, significant problem to your self-esteem, to your self-confidence. I might say it like this, it takes away, being overweight takes away from the juice of life. And here's the other problem, if, if you get a virus, if, if something happens and you get the flu, you get sick, for the vast majority of people, it's temporary. You don't get used to being sick. You don't get used to having the flu. You want to get on the medication. You want to cure it. and You want to move on. With being overweight, it doesn't work that way. You put on five pounds at a time. You know, five pounds this week, five pounds in two more weeks, five pounds uh, the next month, and then 10 pounds in a month. You're putting it on slowly, and you're adjusting to being overweight. And you get used to it. You get used to it. And furthermore, you're now addicted as you put on 100 pounds or whatever it is. You're now addicted to the very thing. You don't get addicted to a virus. You're addicted to the very thing that's causing the problem. And, and you just get used to it. It's so dangerous. It's so dangerous. It's so much more dangerous than this, the virus that's going around. Okay? Being overweight is dangerous. Now, I don't want to sit here and talk to you about the problem. I want to talk to you about the solution. I want to talk to you about the cure. It's a voluntary one. You, you've got to choose to do this. You've got to choose to come go with us. So you've got to be wise in what you choose here. You don't want to waste any time with me. If you're going to, if you're going to give it your all, give it your best for a month, six weeks, seven weeks, I'm going to digress in a minute on that point. But if you give it your all with me, 
You want to make sure that this is something you can do forever, that it's practical, that it's sustainable, and that it's fun. And this is for the vast majority of reasonable people. And that's another thing. You're not going to do this for a day or two. And yeah, some people do it a day or two and they lose five, six pounds of water weight. They haven't even got into the fat burning effects of our program yet. Some people will never even really get started or expect a miracle by the time they, they've eaten lunch. That's not reasonable thinking. But I, I do want to say that if you decide to, if you, what you hear today is practical and reasonable to you, you're going to have to give it six, seven weeks to really let it penetrate your heart and begin to transform you from the inside out. And yes, real lasting change always begins on the inside. I, I wish I could get some amens right now. I wish y'all were on the screen and I could see and hear you because I need some amens on that one. If you really want to change, if you've got a, if you're here today and you've got a weight problem, if you really want to change, you can't fix this problem from the outside in. You've got to fix it from the inside out. And we want to help you with that. We want to not only help you with what to eat and how to eat, but we want to help you with your behavior, behavior modification, understanding what triggers you and how to overcome those triggers. I got some amens. Good deal. All right, so I'm going to get started talking about our program. I'm going to get started with this why Shibboleth, and I hope those of you that are sincere about lasting change, you'll take some notes. I'll put up an, an amazing offer at the end or towards the end of this broadcast. We are a ministry first and foremost, so this is going to be a lot less expensive than one might think. Let's talk about how fast we can fix this problem. Now, I lived with my problem for 30 years, and I overcome it in less than six months. You will be able to do the same thing if you've got a wanting and willing heart. But how fast can you lose weight? Well, if you do everything that I tell you, first of all, that will require you becoming like a child. You, you will have to choose to digress and become like a little child. And what I mean by that is we're going to have to play pretend. We're going to have to fly, fly away from planet Earth, and we're going to have to land on a planet called Planet Shibola, where there's nothing growing on our trees except for the many, many approved foods that we can have. And we're going to have to focus on what we can have and not on what we cannot have. Now, if you'll come to this planet with me, you're going to find that it's fun and it's, it's sustainable and you'll lose weight very fast and very helpfully. So whatever your current weight is right now, it, unless, the, unless you've already been on my program and you have already uh, sustained uh, you've already persisted with the program for more than a month. You're already into deep fat burning, and you ought to know th how the math changes by now. And that's what I'm going to talk about to new people. But if you've been off the program for a while or you're new, if you do what I tell you, what Kim tells you, what Sasha tells you, or whoever is your, your teacher to start with, your coach to start with, here's what you can expect. Whatever your weight is today, Multiply that times 0 0.10. So in other words, if you're 250, if you're 250 pounds, that times 0 0.10 is 25 pounds. You should expect to lose close to 25 pounds in one month. Now, would that be life-changing for some of you? Would that give you momentum? Now, I'm not going to be asking you to do that I'm not going to be asking you to lick drywall. I'm not going to be asking you to eat cactus. I'm going to ask you to cons focus on what you can't have, not on what you can't have, and consume some foods that you're already well accustomed to consuming, but uh, probably in different food combinations. Now, after your first month, you want to keep going, don't you? So you should expect about 1% of the of, of that week, your fifth week, you're starting your fifth week, you're down 25 pounds, let's say you're down to 225, you should expect 1% of your body weight to be lost that next week if you do your best, which would mean 2.25 pounds. 
And then you'll just be able to do that math all along your journey and you'll see that math plays right out as long as you are sticking to the program the right way. Okay? Next, you've got to have a why. Now, this is the part of the webinar where I generally lose a lot of people. I like what Kim said in our meeting yesterday. I said, how do we get more people to do our program to, to get, you know, maybe we need to have one minute videos instead of an hour video. What she said, there's nothing wrong with our program for someone who has a willing and wanting heart. If they want to change, they will follow the program that has worked now for 20 years and help people record millions of pounds lost. Don't change it because people have a attention deficit disorder. <laughs> All right. So I'm with you, Kim. I'm with you. So we've got to talk about what is important here. A thing that begins right will end right. Let me say that again. A thing that begins right will end right. The first thing you're going to have to do to combat your habits, your bad habits, your long-term bad behavior, the first thing that you have to do is develop a significant and profound reason to do this. We call it a why. You've got to determine who you want to be, what kind of character you want to have. Do you want to be disciplined or undisciplined? You've got to write all that down as though it has already come to pass. Travis Martin is a disciplined person and live up to that standard. You've got to have your reasons. I want to be able to go to the beach and walk down the beach and look for shells in my bathing suit with my kids, with my grandkids, and have energy to do so. You've got to write these things down. I want to come off of these deadly prescription medications that I'm on because long term, they are going to shorten your lifespan. You went on these medications because you had no choice or it would have been a more of an immediate death. Now you're on them so you can get leverage on yourself and heal yourself and come off of them later. You're not supposed to be on them forever unless you're type 1 or you have some other uh, genetic predisposed thing going on and then even eating right will help prolong lifespan. There's a lot to be said for developing a strong why that you keep, listen, listen carefully. It's not good enough, been doing this a long time folks, it's not good enough for you to write it down one time. It's not good enough for you to have a poster board in your bedroom with the images of the body you want and the places you want to go and how you want to feel in one place in the house. You've got a war going on. You may not realize it, but this is war. This is a war against the appetites of the flesh. This is the spirit against the flesh. And you've let your child, your flesh, run roughshod over your life. It's time to let your spirit begin to lead and you'll have to overcome and override the propensity of the flesh to rationalize and justify eating incorrect foods and things. So it needs to be in notepads. It needs to be in your smartphone. It needs to be on your wall. It needs to be next to the fridge. It needs to be everywhere so you have a reminder, a constant reminder of why you started this. Or you will be like many across our nation that start, have some results, and quit. So you better just go on and buckle down and realize you've got to come up with a profound why, a reason to do this, that makes you laugh, that makes you cry, that you want so bad that you got to have it, and you better keep it for at all times in front of you. People without a vision do perish. You need a vision. Now, after that reason, you need a lifestyle. And that's what we teach. We have covered every base for reasonable people. You need a lifestyle. You need some way, something, some way of eating that you're willing to live up to and live by. No different than the samurai of old or uh, the Jedi's, all that stuff that we've watched as kids. They had a code. They had an ethos. They had a way of doing and living even when they didn't want to. 
And you're going to have to have that way too. And I'm going to start explaining what we teach and the simplicity of it right here, right now. And then we'll get into the foods. First, I'm going to try to stand still. It's real hard for me to stand still. But I'm going to try so that I can stay in focus. Excuse me when it blurs a little bit. I'll try not to move quite so much. First off, the way I read my Bible... Today is, somebody help me fill in the blanks. I'm going to keep going but because there's a little delay. But I, I want to know some of you are with me here in this teaching. Today is the day of what? And we have no tomorrow. We're not promised a tomorrow. I've got folks that want to lose 100 pounds here today. And you're worried about, not you're not worried about if you can do it tomorrow. You're worried about if you can do it a month from now, two months from now, three months from now. You're not even promised tomorrow. That's right, Kim. Today is the day of salvation. When it comes to how we're going to save this body if we're already in bad health, we're concerned about today. I'm, I'm not worried about yesterday. It's gone. Nothing I can do about it. It's over. But today's the day of salvation. Today is the day I need to do my best and the Bible says to be that perfect. So we're going to have a perfect day. That's what we're aiming for is a perfect day. Trying to have a perfect day. And there's rules for having a perfect day on our program. And we're going to go over those rules. Then there is the holiday. There's what's called a holiday. A holiday is a day of grace because we can't be perfect every day. So our day, let's say that you were starting this program Monday. Monday, you're either going to have a perfect day or you're going to have a holiday. There is no in-between. The Bible says, I wish that were cold or hot, but thou art lukewarm. Therefore, I spew thee out of my mouth. That was my problem up until I was 30 years old, I'm, I'll be 50 this year, that was my problem for three decades, was I just kind of eat okay. I wasn't a glutton. I just kind of eat okay. I didn't eat perfectly. I want you to have a perfect day or a holiday. There is no in-between. If you so much as lick the cheese dust off a dirty Dorito, that's a holiday. we got to be tough with ourselves. The Bible says to buffet the flesh, it does not say to buffet it. We are to be tough with ourselves. And each month, each 30 days, if God blesses us with 30 days, we can have six holidays per month. We can eat anything. We can turn the holiday into a hog trough day. We can eat anything that we want to, anything that we desire, six days a month and still lose weight as long as these other days are perfect. When we get into maintenance, we can have 12. When we get into maintenance, we can have 12 holidays a month. That means that we'd have to have 18 perfect ones to maintain our weight. And up here, we'd have to have 24 to 25 perfect days to lose the weight at the rate that I specified at the beginning of the webinar. A perfect day. What is it? Simple. Number one, I've got to drink my water. Every day I'm going to ask you to drink water. It doesn't mean that that's the only beverage that you can have. You can have other approved beverages. There are a multitude. But we've got to drink our water. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Water in. Fat out. Water in. Poop out. The waste isn't coming out. The weight won't come off. Mmm. Don't forget to be washed by the water of the word, too. <laughs> Amen. Mm. I need you to get a half a gallon up to a gallon of water in every day as step one of a perfect day. Step two, I need you to journal. I need, if you bite it, I need you to write it or record it in our website would be the best. Bite it, write it, hog it, log it, nibble it, scribble it. We won't get into the benefits of journaling, but I put it as number two in order of importance. Out of the first five components, it's number two. The sixth one is the most important. 
But out of the five, journaling is the second most important. I've never known anyone who had a weight problem. A significant weight problem, lost the weight and kept it off permanently without a journal. It takes three minutes a day for you to do a journal. Don't tell me you don't have time. You've got a journal. It is of the utmost importance. Please do it online. Why online? On our website. Because unlike most programs, we are very engaging and interactive. And there's going to be times we need to help you get through plateaus and your mentor will need to look at your journal. But if you won't do that, then do it on piece of paper. Do it wherever you'll do it. But journaling is important. Got a journal to have a perfect day. Next, combinations. Combinations. I'm going to teach you to eat in food combinations that help you rebalance your hormones, target and remove unwanted body fat. That's what we're going to do. If you don't eat in the right food combinations, you can be in a calorie deficit and you can lose weight, but you will not lose very much fat. You must rebalance your hormones, namely insulin. We must neutralize and begin to better regulate insulin. When we eat in incorrect food combinations, we eat a steak with a potato instead of a chicken breast with potato. When we eat that steak, Data, not only are we spiking insulin, we are getting a profound fat storing effect for the next two days. We must control what we call the fat bus. Insulin is the fat bus, and when we don't know how to neutralize it with amazing food combinations that we teach, then you have appetite going up, fat storage takes place, and efficient fat burning stops for the next two days. So let's learn to neutralize it with many wonderful food combinations. I would suggest if you're new, you watch the daily doses, take the test, pass the test, earn the badge, or either get in Kim's fast track class. I need you to do that so that you can start with just a few combinations and get some leverage on yourself. Can everybody hear me? We got some folks saying they can't hear me. Tracy, you're right. Number three is combinations. Number four, portions. Can everybody hear me? Y'all good? I'm not confident in this particular platform we're using today. We'll make sure you get good. All right. Thank you, Becky. Portions. Yeah, this one is easy to remember not it, it's difficult for someone who has food addiction but you have you have to overcome portions we're talking about daily portions and meal portions okay portions i'm going to ask you to eat each meal off a six to eight inch plate we recommend some that you can get off of amazon but if you don't want to get those six to eight inch plates we want you to interlock your thumbs put your hands and fingers together and put that directly over the right food combination. If your two hands together just like this, uh, it cover that meal completely and it's not piled up any higher than the thickest part of your hand, your calories are going to be right. If your combination's right, you got a great fat loss meal on that plate. You can have up to three meals each day. Up to three meals. We would like for you to stop at three meals. But let's say that your cravings get the best of you. You can have up to one approved snack. And if your cravings continue to get the best of you, you can have freebies. But what we're working towards here is only three eating episodes, regardless of type, three eating episodes per day. Eating episode number one for the Father, number two for the Son, number three for the Holy Spirit. Do whatever we do unto Him, right? How many of you know in your heart of hearts that a lot of your problem is just grazing throughout the day, just knick-knacking and grazing? How many of you know that? Over time, we've got to work towards eliminating every episode 
over the number three. We got to work on that. We help you do that. You're not alone in this fight. You'll have to have a willing and wanting heart, but you're not alone in this fight. We do these types of classes. We can even do one-on-ones. Okay? Got to stop the portions. The, the portion distortion, we got to stop this notion that we can have four, five, six meals a day that's being preached and has been preached for decades. It's not going to work for you. Won't work for you. Has it? It's not going to. Okay. Next is timing. Now, if you don't do the timing properly, but you did the number of eating episodes properly, it's not a holiday. This is one rule that you can violate, the timing rule, that won't call... Uh, won't force you to call that day a holiday. This is for optimization. For optimization, to get the best results, you should spread your eating episodes out four to six hours. So ideally, I eat breakfast. Let's say I ate it at 7 a.m. I eat lunch at noon. That's a five-hour spread. I eat dinner at six. That's a perfect spread. Then cut it off. Find something else to do when you're sitting on the couch watching The Voice, all right, or Fox News or CNN, whatever, right? So if we follow these rules, we're well on our way. The last and most important rule is always in everything you do, I guess unless you're an atheist, bless the name of the Lord in your own way. The Bible says work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You figure it out. For me, it might, might be sitting naked in front of the altar with my Bible open. For you, it may be something else. You ain't got to do it my way. I ain't got to do it your way. But we got to get back to remembering why we have life in us this very day. God says live and we live. He says die and we die. We should respect that. And everything we do, do it unto Him and for Him. Not the way others tell us to do it, but our in our own weak way, be a true worshiper. Thank God for each one of these episodes. I found a lot of grace in that, and I hope you do too. But that's how we have a perfect day. Now, I've got my calendar. Let me come over here. I got the days of the weeks. The days of the week, I'm sorry. Stay with me, bear with me. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. This is my week one on the program. Everybody ready for week one? How many of you want to look good naked? Raise your hand. If you'll lie about that, you'll lie about anything. Anybody want to look good naked? Oh, some of y'all are going to lie about it. I can't look good naked. Well, look your best. Look your best. My whole life, I just, I, just, I didn't care about all them prescriptions I was on. I just wanted some woman that I love to love me back and to think that I look good. I know that sounds superficial or whatever, but doggone it, I was a chunky monkey all my life. I, didn't, I wasn't comfortable with my own skin. So I wanted to look good naked. And, you know, we we, <laughs> we got to have fun here, right? Got to have fun. So here we go. Monday through Sunday, number one, I have a perfect day. I followed all the rules on the honor system. Lost some water weight. I'm happy about it. Got to lose the water weight in the inches. Day number two, had a perfect day, and I'm happy about it. On Wednesday, now, after two perfect days, I'm in efficient fat burning. Got rid of the water, got rid of the extra glucose. Now I'm burning booty. The inches are shedding. They're falling off. And I'm going to just put F for fire. I've got fire on Thursday. I've got fire on Friday. How long do you want to go? The longer you go, the deeper in fat burning you'll get because you're optimizing, rebalancing them hormones. We're locking it down, lock it down, and rip, 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 rip off the knob, baby. How long you want to go? Be uncommon. Keep going. But let's say it's an anniversary. Saturday night's anniversary. I'm on fire. Saturday, I'm on fire, but I'm going out with baby on Saturday night, and I have a hollow meal, just one meal. Now, Sunday, I got to start back over. Had a perfect day, perfect day Monday, and then I'm on fire again on Tuesday. And I'm rocking it. I'm excited. It's hard, but it's fun. It's hard, but it's fun. And then fr uh, sat uh, Friday night, Friday, no, let's, Friday I, I have a, uh, I'm on fire. Saturday night I have another hollow meal. 
And Sunday, all them darn church people want to go to the Elma Pile, and I can't resist the chips, don't know no better, have another holiday. So up here, I had two days, three days of fire. And then over here, I had one, two, three, four days of fire. Now I got to get back on on Monday. And then you just watch the chart. We don't listen to the scales. The way scales will lie to you if you look at them day to day. They'll lie to you if you look at them each and every week. But they never lie if you look at them January 1st compared to February 1st. If I look at somebody's weekly timing chart, I can tell you what kind of effort they're giving to me. That's our, that's our lifestyle. I'm going to talk about the food next, but that's our simple lifestyle. It gives you boundaries. It says here's the way we're going to live. And given time and given dedication and persistence and not rationalizing and justifying giving up and being a quitter, my weight's coming off, I'm going to feel better, and I'm going to have a design whereby I can keep my weight off the rest of my life. That should be exciting. Now, while I erase the board and then we transition and get into food and we're on a delay, I'm going to let you ask some questions. So any questions so far before I get into how we break down foods? Any questions? <clears throat> All right. Everybody looks like they're happy. All right, we're going to get into the foods. Now, I know what my lifestyle parameters are. I know how to have a perfect day. What am I going to be eating? Got a question. Are the recipes called Lean and Green approved? Marie, you'd have to send them to us. One of the things that we do for our members is we modify recipes. I'm not familiar with Lean and Green. You could email those to us and we look at them and we put them in our library. We've got thousands of approved recipes. Some of those may already be in there. I don't know. But if you send them to us as a member, we either approve them or we change the ingredients to make them approved for you. That's one of the perks of being a member. Okay, so first off, all you really need to do this lifestyle is a local grocery store. Yes, there are specialty goods. In fact, we have found that we can get almost everything from Amazon with a few exceptions if need be over uh, during this crisis but with that said we need a kroger we need a winn dixie there's a lot can i do nutrisystem can i do yeah you can do that but hey, let me tell you you just need a local grocery store we wanted this to be the most practical sustainable fun program ever so we need a local grocery store and what we did was we broke down how we how we approved foods two ways really you've got the perimeter of the grocery store now the perimeter of the grocery store is where they tell us right everybody it's where they tell us all the whole foods and the healthy foods are so we've got that covered uh, when people tell me this isn't a whole food program i just laugh right? they've not spent any time with our program just because we approve foods that people are going to get and buy anyway, but yet teach them to do them the right way, doesn't mean this is not a whole food program. You can forget about your Cheerios if you don't want to eat Cheerios. We just want people to know how to do it if they need to do it. We're going to start with the perimeter of the grocery store, the produce, the meat, the dairy, and we're going to categorize those foods. This is awesome right here. We're going to categorize those foods based upon how they break down in the human body. And that's going to help us rebalance our hormones because we're going to put those categories together the way they need to be put on our plate. So we looked at the perimeter of the grocery store. Then we looked at the inner aisles. That's where the, the nutritionist 
tells you to stay away from, right? That's where the canned goods are, the frozen goods are, the cereals, the ice cream. They say stay out of there. Well, that's good advice. But is it is it practical? Is it practical advice? It may not be practical for, practical for people who have bad habits. So we're going to teach you how to change out and get the right ice cream. How to combine the right milk with your favorite cereal so that you can neutralize insulin. So we leave nothing out. That's what's amazing about this thing that God's put together. There's nothing left out, okay? Uh, some things are better than others, but it don't mean we have to throw the baby out with the bathwater. If you really love your special K red berry cereal, you just can't have it with skim milk anymore. Why? Well, if you have skim or whole milk with red berries, red berries is about 23, 24 grams of starch, now you're throwing on more sugar on top of that starch and you're going to have a raging fat bus on the scene. But if I take Special K red berries, the right portion of it, 23, 24 grams of starch or whatever it is, coupled with some Kroger Carb Master milk or some fat-free Fairlife milk, I'm not going to have a problem. I can keep insulin abated. See, ain't this fun? Somebody just got a good attitude ought to be having fun because we're going to get to have all kinds of stuff. <laughs> okay, let me get back in focus here. I'm moving around too much. So what we do in the beginning is start with the perimeter because that's the healthiest food. And then in phase two, we teach you about the meal, the uh, specific cereals and ice creams and frozen meals and canned foods and et cetera, okay? Snacks, chips. Okay, here's how we do this. We categorize our food. Category one is lean protein. Now, I have to stress that this is the short list. Okay? For every one food that I put up here, multiply that times maybe 50, because that's how many different options there are in our food library. But, I, I, of course, we don't have all day. You wouldn't spend all day with me. So I've got, to, I've got to keep this short, but I, it'll, it'll give you enough of an idea of what we're doing here and how we're doing it. So lean protein, I've got egg whites, chicken breast, turkey breast, all fish, low-fat cottage cheese, fat-free cottage cheese. Uh, I've got Greek plain yogurt. Triple Zero yogurt is a brand that we use, fat-free cheese, etc. Then we've got our category two, fibrous carbs. Fibrous carbs are going to help us shut down the fat bus. So we've got things like broccoli. You know what we call broccoli? Exercise on a stalk. We've got broccoli, asparagus, uh, squash, okra, green leafies of all types, jicama, and we could just keep going on. Snow peas in the pod, etc. Now, lean protein help us preserve our muscle, help us build our metabolism. Fibrous carb helps us shut down the fat bus, helps us keep removing the toxins and waste. Neither of these food groups cause the fat bus to come. In fact, they help neutralize the fat bus. In fact, if I take a category one plus two and put it on a plate and have that as a meal, then I've got exercise on a plate. We've also got category two breads. These are approved breads that break down more like a, say a green bean is a category two fibrous carb. These breads break down more like a green bean than they do a white bread. The one with the bread quicker we're dead. We gotta make sure our breads have enough protein and fiber in them that we can neutralize the fat bus. These breads will allow us to have the sandwiches we used to have, the hamburgers, the hot dogs. We're just gonna be using a different bread. There are more than 60 approved category two breads at your grocery stores. So they are not hard to find. I've noticed a lot of people during the crisis, the coronavirus crisis, saying in our members only group, I've seen them say, I can't find my bread. 
I'm so upset. I can't do the program until my bread's back. You got more than 60. Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. You shouldn't have a hard time finding these things. Become resourceful. You'll find them. Worst case, order them from Amazon. But more than 60 approved Category 2 breads. Then we got our Category 3 complex carbs. A lot of people are afraid of carbs. You just need to know how to combine the right foods with these carbs. Any program that excludes a macronutrient should be avoided unless it's asking you to exclude a macronutrient temporarily. If a program asks you to exclude any macronutrient permanently, you should avoid that program like the plague. Category three, complex carbs, tomatoes, potatoes, peas, lima beans, long grain brown rice, quinoa, and we could go on, oatmeal, etc. You've been told to avoid corn. You've been told to avoid corn, to avoid potatoes. There's no need in it if you know the rules for our program and you combine a Category 3 with a 1 and 2 on a plate. It's when you eat them by themselves that they cause you a problem. Okay? I'm going to erase my board. So that's, that, so far we've got basically three categories. of foods and there are seven categories of whole foods on our program to learn about to consume in the right combination literally millions millions uh, we could just come up with millions of, of ideas meal ideas literally all right so now we've got our category four protein plus fat all cuts of steak uh, lean ground meat 93 percent or better Whole eggs, ribs, uh, pork, full fat cottage cheese, and we could go on. Some, some fatty cheese, some cheese will go here that isn't fat free. Category four, I want a steak. I just can't have a steak with the potato anymore. I could have it with some cauliflower asparagus. If I want the potato, I'm going to have to learn to have it with chicken or seafood until I lose my weight. On a holiday, I can have anything I want. So I got category four, category five, fruit. Don't, don't exclude fruit. Just learn how to eat it. Berries, apples, oranges, grapefruit. If it's fruit, other than a tomato, a tomato is a fruit, but we put it in category three because it's treated more like a vegetable. If it's fruit, it goes here. Category six is our superfood. Nuts, seeds, peanut butter, refried beans, pintos, black beans, red beans, lot, lots of superfoods. Superfoods contain all the macronutrients. We just need to eat them in one of our right food combinations, everyone. Then you got category seven, shellfish, lobster, crab, shrimp, crawfish, oysters, scallop, mussel. If, if it's shellfish, it's shellfish. We learn how to categorize these whole foods and we learn how to combine them three times a day and the weight falls off. You'll also learn about condiments. What can you flavor these meal, meals with? Thousands of them. We'll teach you the five, two, and few rule so you can shop for your condiments. Then you've got your approved milks, your approved canned foods, your approved frozen, including pizzas, You've got your approved ice cream, chips, snacks, 
etc. Everything in the inner aisles of the grocery store. We go through there. We teach you what those are. In fact, we won't be able to teach you what they are. You won't be able to apply the approved foods to memory. You know why? There's too many. That's why we have to have a full, robust library with all of the approved foods, and we add to it the wonderful, amazing Kim Shaboleth on our team. She adds to the list every day. There's new approved foods with a description that tells you how to have this. Do you have it as a meal? Do you have it as a snack? Do you have it as a freebie? Then we go a step further. We even rate the foods. We rate the recipes. So if you want to lose weight slow, you do this. If you want to lose weight fast, you do this. It's up to you. You can drive 55 on your 55 miles an hour on your way to, to wellness, or you can drive 95. It's up to you. You get to make those decisions. So the program is practical, sustainable, and fun. I hope those of you that are members and you've let this coronavirus thing uh, distract you, I hope you'll get back going. If you're brand new, I hope you'll come go with us. This is a movement. It's a faith-based program. It's a movement. Lives are changing. Wastelines are diminishing. Lifelines are extending. And we're blessing the name of the Lord. We want to teach you all this stuff. We teach it through daily doses, short pre-recorded videos, or Kim. Kim is here with us today, the amazing Kim. She's a school teacher. She's great, brilliant teacher. We do it with hand-holding. We have mentors. Mentors ready to help you. You get stuck or you need a personal meal plan because you're in week two and you can't figure out the food combinations. Your mentor will help you come up with a personal meal plan. You eat out at restaurants. We've got a restaurant library and teach you how to eat at any restaurant. No re The only reason for someone not to do our program, the only reason is they're just not ready for change. That's the only reason. All right, I'm going to start bringing my remarks to a close. I want to tell you about, while I'm waiting on questions, I'll look through these. I, I want to see if there's any questions. Uh, but as we close out here, I want to tell everybody about uh, the coronavirus has caused us to bring out this amazing special. We want to try to help people. It's www. Please, somebody, if you can, type this for me or uh, somebody write it down if you need it. www.thelifetimemembership.com 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 Till we get through this coronavirus thing, till we get more info on it, we're trying to help people out. It'll help us out. It'll help you out because we got to help people. And www.thelifetimemembership.com will allow anyone to get our membership, our support, all current services on our website. It will allow you to get all access and support for only $59.95. Lifetime. Pay once, never have to pay again www.thelifetimemembership.com. Please take advantage of that. It's obvious we can't do that forever, uh, but we're doing it right now. So please take advantage of that. Any question or comments? Hey, Belinda. Thank you, Belinda, Kim, Becky. Let me look and see if I can find some questions. I purchased the PS103 meals. Why are they categorized as a meal replacement in a, instead of logging them by category? Vicki, you can certainly log them in by the category, one, two, three, or one and two, or four and two. That's up to you how you log that. It's just easy for me in my own journal to put meal replacement. I look at it like it's a meal replacement because I didn't cook it. I didn't have to prepare it. I didn't have to put it together. Somebody else did all that for me but it's really just labels. What, what do you feel more comfortable with? If you want to put it down as a one, two, three, or one, two, or four, two, you can certainly do that. It does not impact your perfect day. Tanya needs a personal meal plan. 
Tanya, all we need you to do, if somebody can help, Kim, if you're with me, can you type out there mentor.gymbook.com? Mentor.gymbook.com. Tanya, if you have a willing heart and you'll spend 30 minutes with one of our wonderful mentors, they will personalize you a meal plan. But, but you have to schedule the time because we don't know when you're available. It wouldn't do us any good to send a meal plan to anyone if we don't know what your likes and dislikes are. So, Tanya, if you'll look for that, there it is right there. Kim, put it for you, Tanya. www.mentor.gymbook.com I like Marie. With God by my side, who can be against me? Amen, amen. Kim says, if you eat Hormel Turkey Spam, we can teach you. If you only eat grass-fed, grass-finished beef, boy, that's good, Kim. This is the beauty of Shabbat. That's right. It doesn't matter if you eat free-roaming chickens, like Kim's saying. Uh, it's got to be organic, grass-fed. It doesn't matter to us. If you're on a budget and you got to eat turkey Spam, we'll teach you how to do it. If I missed any questions or comments, so sorry. Giselle, I tried my best to cover that. Giselle asked, is it possible to do the program without using processed foods? Giselle, let me ask you a question if you don't mind. Did you see anything I put on the board that wasn't processed? This is how I try to get people to start thinking. Because what we do, we get fixated on something that is processed. Can you do the program without processed foods? Can you get organic chicken breast? Yes. Can you get organic lean ground beef? Yes. Can you get organic meats? Yes. Organic eggs? Yes. Can you get uh, stuff that grows from the ground like broccoli and asparagus? Since all that's not processed. Can you do this program without any process? What about the cooking fats? Is ghee butter? Is cow ghee processed? No. It, it's a rich, delicious, healthy butter. It doesn't matter, as long as you're willing to exclude all the junk and exclude all of the stuff with processed ingredients in it and focus on the narrow way, the whole foods, you'd be fine. And you'd totally be able to do this pro. We only put, we get a bad rap for it, and I try to explain it constantly. We only put approved processed foods that are bet they're, they're lesser evils that won't prevent you from losing weight if you're already addicted to them. Example, Moose Tracks ice cream is processed. It's not good. It causes the fat bus. You can't lose weight consuming it, but you're addicted. Blue Bunny, sweet, not Blue Bunny, Sweet Freedom Bunny Tracks Tastes like moose tracks, and it's processed. But it won't prevent you from losing weight if you follow our program. So the only reason we talk about that stuff is to give people who are addicted to them void replacements that will allow them to continue to lose weight. But you, my friend, definitely focus on just the unprocessed foods. Yes, ma'am. Giselle says, many, I have found many good gluten-free options. Glad you're finding them, and there are a lot in our library. There is not a barcode reader. I am sorry. That is something we do not have at this time. We don't have a barcode reader. Any other questions or comments? Did you get anything out of this? I hope you're excited, pumped up. I hope you'll share this with others. Questions or comments before we go? Thank you, Belinda. Thank you, everybody. All right. I hope you all have a terrific Saturday. I hope you'll get excited. I hope you'll prepare your, uh, prepare your, your meal ideas and be ready for Monday. Hope you, hope you'll, hope you do good the rest of the weekend. But if you're brand new, hope you start getting prepared for Monday. 
I just seen somebody, Giselle lost 13 pounds in five weeks. Way to go. Thank you, Tammy. Thanks, Jeanette. Thanks, everybody. Don't forget Kim. Kim is, uh, I would like to see all of you in her group. So see, make sure you click on Kim's group. Hey, Mary. Mary Baxter's going to be praying about it, talking to husband. It's hard to do it when your spouse isn't on board, she says. We'll be praying for you. Hopefully, they'll at least support you if you want to do it. The good news is if he likes the Mexican restaurant, he can have what he has, and you can have a great tasting Shibola the Proved meal at the Mexican restaurant. It's really just more, it, we have to take ownership, and we have to do this for ourselves when we don't have support. Tammy Coslow started March the 5th, now 16. Way to go. All right, y'all. Thank you. It was good to connect with you. I love you in the Lord. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.